In today's video, I'm going to be showing you a clean sample user interface for building automated trading systems. The goal of this video is to inspire more of your creative juices when it comes to building front end user interfaces with trading bots in mind. I know most of my videos are technical and more focused on building great trading systems, which I think is still very important, but I know most of you watching are developers and may want to build your own trading infrastructure from the ground up. This video is for you and gives you a better perspective more on the front end user interface side of things. So a little bit of background of what we're trying to do. Basically, we're building a user interface on the web that will show us our automated trading strategies and if they're running or not, the ability to add more strategies, you know, pick a strategy, stop strategies, change our strategy, show our positions, our broker connections, and our performance as well. So basically an all-in-one interface when it comes to handling basic automated trading strategy development and operation. Now for the tech aspect, we are using Python and Flask for the back end. And for the front end, we're doing simple HTML, CSS, and JavaScript with Jinja templating engine to make HTML a little bit easier. We also have a MySQL database to store our data in terms of our you know, running strategies and positions and stuff like that. Okay, so here we have our login screen. And after we log in, we're brought up to our main page, our strategies menu. Now, I decided to go with a one page design and simply hide and show the menus through JavaScript as I think it's faster and sort of a smoother experience than you know going to separate links and separate URLs. So here you can see our running strategies with um, you know the symbols that it's trading. You can pick multiple symbols. In this case, we have four X pairs. And um, we can add new strategies by clicking the add strategy button down here. We can turn them off on the right here if it's running or not. And you see when it's actually running, the parameters get disabled, so you can't change them. You have to stop them in order to change them. We can also add or remove symbols if we want change our strategy type and our parameters associated with that strategy. So very, very powerful and clean stuff. You can also filter by accounts too. Maybe you only want, you know, strategies trading on the test account. Um, I think that's a neat feature as well. Every strategy is running in a MySQL table. So each are here, the rows and they have a symbol and the strategy associated with that. And then the parameters are actually in JSON that allows it to be super dynamic. Um, and then we have a run as well. If it's, if the strategy is running, it's one, if not, it's zero. So that's sort of how it's stored in the, uh, in the database. Our next menu is accounts. So here shows our, here it shows our connected brokerage accounts and the status of the connection. Like if it's disconnected, it needs to be reconnected or connected. Uh, we can attach a nickname to that account as well, just to maybe make it easier for us to read and then enter login details and stuff like that as well. Our next menu is positions. This will show us our current positions in our brokerage account. Um, like the symbol, once again, we're using four X pairs in this example, we can see the symbol name, the entry price or our average price, the side. So if we're long or short, for betting that's going to go up or down the quantity so if we're going long it's one if we're short it's negative the dollar profit on the position so are we up and down on the position the account that it's associated with it right because you could have multiple accounts with different positions in them and a button to manually close the position if say we want to override the the trading system and then once again we can also filter by account and the symbol pair as well so if i do that nothing comes up but if I do that, then one comes up or we can do all. So very clean, very quick and snappy interface. Last but not least is performance. So this shows us our, say our account performance in terms of dollars, you know, how many, how many dollars are up or down are we with our trading systems? Um, we can see a start and end date. You know, I just have some, some dummy data in here with February 3rd and February 4th. And it graphs our account equity in a mountain chart, a filled mountain chart in the form of dollars. And then we can also adjust the start and, and finish date. If we want to uh, maybe only get data for a certain month or something like that. And once again, we have an, an account too. So we can see different PLs per account 
And in the database, this is um, a separate table and it's also connected to the accounts table as well if you want to look at different performance for different accounts. So I thought this was, you know, a cool little project to build your own trading interface from the ground up with a ton of customization. Um, there's also a lot of work to do in the back end as well, uh, like keeping track of running strategies to make sure they're running, working correctly and, and running them in separate threads. So they're all separate instances. Um, maybe that's a separate video in itself. I think it would also be cool to build this in React.js or Vue.js to have some more modern technology instead of just vanilla JavaScript. You know, I need to learn React. I'm still a, a JavaScript noob, um, but I think that'd be cool. And a lot of people would sort of resonate with that better because React and, and Vue.js are kind of the gold standard. I'd say more, more on React, but um, oh yeah. And then the last one is the, the logout as well, which I think works. Yeah, it does work. Okay. So anyways, I hope this video inspired you. Uh, for building your own trading system from the ground up, leave a comment below if it did. With that being said, I just wanted to put a reminder there. If your goal is to build great trading systems, it's usually much easier to use an existing platform like NinjaTrader or TradeStation uh, because they've done all the work for you pretty much and, and you can just spend time building strategies. You don't have to worry about user interface or connecting accounts or reconnecting or handling any types of you know tedious work. You can just focus on building strategies. But if you want to maybe have more customization or maybe you want to sell this as some type of software as a service product, you know, there's nothing wrong with building it from the ground up. There's just a lot more time that's going to go into testing, debugging and that sort of stuff. So anyways, I hope this video you found value in and um, leave a comment below if you'd like to see more on type of, you know, user interfaces or building your own infrastructure. Um, I think this was like a cool little project to show you guys. So anyways, that's it. Hope you found value and we'll see you next week. Peace out, guys. Bye.